It's like 13 years, 13 years tomorrow, right? Like I ended up getting shot, right? Mm. And uh, everybody tells me like that I for sure had some kind of trauma from it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I personally don't feel like I didn't re even then when it happened. Um, like I didn't really feel much from the situation. Like I, yeah. I, I thank God that I was still alive because two of my friends got killed. But mm -hmm. I personally didn't feel like um, any real stress from the situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you probably and to most that seemed odd. That is odd to the how, motherfucker. How the situation happened. Well, Rick, you know, the, the, the funny thing is you could have had trauma before you got shot. And it was easy for you to normalize a situation like that because we've basically, like, we were raised in environments of, like, fucking Afghanistan. You know, it's like, so, like, if you talk to a soldier in Afghanistan and you're like, yeah, I was shot, you're not really going to be surprised. You know, right? So when you hear somebody that gets shot in the hood, they're like, oh, where? Okay, anyway, yo, where are we going to eat? Like it's just a regular conversation, but in this, like if I go, to, if I'm in the suburbs, I'm like, oh my god, Tommy got shot. Oh my god, like let's start to go funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like dude, right? It's like it's like an event, and it's like a thing. The problem is that because of systematic racism and and this plan that they had for us before you were even born, unfortunately, your trauma has been normalized, and it sometimes is really hard to spot trauma. It shows up very, very, um, it, it, it's odd. And, and there's different levels of PTSD, right? You could have complex PTSD. And Bless touches on that a little bit more. That's the work that she does. Sometimes you don't even know you're dealing with PTSD. Like you don't even realize that because you've normalized that lifestyle. And it's just, it's a normal thing for you. But when you get into a room of balanced individuals, who understand you want to see a difference right you'll, you'll be like yo and this is why it's important to change your environment like mm -hmm. i said I, I referenced those children that we take overnight camping a lot of times they don't recognize that their lifestyle is pretty fucked up until they get around a different space a different environment a different culture mm -hmm. so like i have i have a kid who literally says to me he was like i don't feel safe going outside it's all good but he didn't realize that until we spoke to him so there may be things that pop up for you five years from now wreck it may not be now that was 13 years ago right yeah. i just discovered some shit about myself that i do in relationships that was like yo i normalize that shit and it was only until somebody treated me with a level of kindness i never experienced before mm. Like, I'm looking at this brother right now. Like, I literally can't even believe I'm on a fucking podcast with Helter Scott. Like, I can't even believe. Like, I'm fucking, like, I'm a little starstruck and shit. But, like, I remember what it feels like. I'm, we mm. carry razors in our mouths. Yeah. Like, Say what? Like, I carried a razor in my mouth to go to high yeah. school. Yeah, me too. You remember, you remember like, right? I went to yeah. Spring High School in Queens. And, like, I literally, I was like, that's not a big deal. Right. Right, but you you are a human being, brother. You deserve kindness, you deserve love, you deserve empathy, you deserve success, all of these things. But because we get in survival mode, and shit's like Game of Thrones, like we, we normalize mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And, and this systematic racism and the way that it was set up, it was like, yo, we just gonna put all the hard shit on, on black people. And then we just gonna be over here on the other side of the tracks living our best lives. And as you can see, things are changing. Black women are becoming more successful. They're the fastest growing group as, as entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Black men are, are rising in the ranks. Mm -hmm. Like it's happening. Yeah, and 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 sure. in spite of the system, it's not like the system is helping us. Like you know, I'm the rocking monster, and I'm here to let you know that I'm on Cameo now. Are you familiar with Cameo? It's a website where you can. Reach out to some of your favorite celebrities and have them send you shout outs, personalized, birthday wishes, wedding congratulations. You can even have them quit your job for you. And now I'm there. You can use the Cameo app or you can go on Cameo.com or the Cameo website. Find me there and make your request. 
We also have special requests for business. You know, if you want your mixtape dropped on or your album promote, any promotional things. Special pricing for that. See us there. Rock this monster. On cameo. Rock on. Rock some on. people in the system who are, so you got some people amongst the system who are fighting for us, but they still that like you, you know you are, you're talking about a cell in a body. You know what I mean? Like like you <laughs> You talk about a, a, a cell in a body yeah. like these, like they give a fuck about us. You got the, you got your people who do, but the system yeah. is the system. You know what I mean? And they run the way it do. Niggas is flourishing in spite of that. You know what I mean? That's something that we should be proud of. But at the, at a, at a, at a, on another level, like we have to, we have to be. I, I think is is fucking detrimentally important for us to be able to wreck for us to know that we ain't all good like you know to to go to different environments to meet other people and you will see you will see when you do that that like when you see other people in different environments you will notice where your shit is lacking you know what i mean like Yo, you, you, know you see people when you go someplace and they treat you like a human being Yo, for real for real it's different you know what it's i'm saying different. it's different that, Bro, I, I got this house. Happened. The funny thing is, I got this house, and I met my my uh, real estate um, or my realtor. I was getting off my bike. I ride right, so I'm getting off my bike. And I'm going to go get something to drink. I'm still, you know, I'm living in the hood. I'm just like, yo, you know, I'm, you know, I got that nobody better run up on me attitude. And this, he's like a jolly African. He was the most jolliest motherfucker I ever met in my life. I was like, it's a jolly ass dude. You jolly. He's like, yo, hey man, that's a nice bike you have. I was like, I was like, what's up? <laughs> I was just like, yo, I was defensive. I was like, all right, let me get in my stance. Cause I'm, you, you know, trying to take right? my bike. I'm about yeah, to be right. earth, wind, and fire out this year. This is years ago, and I, and, I, and I said, he said, I'm a realtor. I sell houses. I was like, oh, okay. All right, yeah, you know, I could be. I'm looking to rent right now, but I'm not looking to buy. But you know, yeah, give me. Right, uh -huh. because I was living in an apartment, and my son has special needs. We have a you know, we were like they were like, all right, I was all, all good. I, I needed to move. Basically, I looked in mm -hmm. my wallet two years later, and I picked up his car and I called him, and he found mm -hmm. me a house like this. And it was because I allowed myself to just be open to meeting new people and things, right, and experiences. And this is why I will say a lot of us, like they, they do us dirty, bro. They do us dirty. We grew up in food deserts. Everything mm -hmm. has to do with mental health that you put in your body, the, the content that you consume. So we're listening to music that's like, fuck a nigga, bitch, blah, 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 blah. And even like the lower vibration. Cause even in the nineties you had scale, right? Yeah. And then you're ingesting pizza, Chinese food, halal, bacon, egg and cheese, and like you have five options of food that you put in your body every day and sugar, alcohol and drugs, right? You start that at like 15, 14. Like I said, then the content, the food, and then you have, uh, you have uh, adults that are raising children that haven't healed yet because they've dealt with generational trauma. We are set up for failure. So it would behoove you as a, as a grown ass man, a grown ass woman, to take a step back and take some accountability and say, I'm responsible for my happiness and my joy. Let me take the steps necessary to heal myself and not have enough pride to be like, yo, let me go talk to somebody for an hour, even if it costs me 30, 40 bucks a week. We mm -hmm. spend that on weed anyway. Let me right. let me spend it doing this. Right. You, you know, know what? I have like I have five. I know we got to get ready to wrap it up in a second. I, mm -hmm. I we have I have five friends that call me almost every single time they're drunk. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Monster Mondays podcast. Please join us every Monday from eight to ten p.m. West Coast time and eleven to one a.m. East Coast time. Every single Monday, Monster Monday on the Dash app. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. The Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious
Delicious Vinyl Radio Station.